Oh, he doesn't want it! Boy, what's your problem? Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Sims 4 Get Famous. Here we have Mr. Paolo this morning doing some push-ups, and his feet look super weird. Let's try to ignore that. In the last part, we got Miss Gemma a new audition for Residency at Heart, and she became a two-star celebrity, a rising star, if you will, and we're super excited about it. We're, of course, going to have to have her go on her new audition today, and we're going to try and have a celebrity meet and greet done today so she can sign autographs and just keep that famous. Horizon. We also bought her a um, video station so she can do vlogs and, and do corporate sponsorship stuff, so it's all good. We spent a little bit of money, so we still really don't have enough to get uh, some upgrades in the house, but it's okay. We're working our way there. Oh, what's this? Yeah, pause. Hello, Gemma. We're searching for a celebrity partner to promote the Woohoo Wear personal care company, and your fans synergize perfectly with their brand. Complete one of the following options in the next 24 hours to fulfill this contract. Use the video station to upload any video footage you've captured. Our ad agency will cut up your footage to get what they need and send you a payment, a payout for usage of your likeness. Use the video station to record a video that focuses on beauty reviews. They're just so hot right now. <laughs> do this and your payment will be even larger. We are definitely going to do that, and hopefully we'll get it done in the next 20 for hours, but before we do anything else, especially since um, she has her audition tomorrow, we need to get her charisma skill up to five, and right now it's only three, and that's just not good enough. Oh, and for some reason Dominic is in our house. Yay, we must have given him a key and I just don't remember doing that. You can leave. We're done with you. We're have to take that key back from him. Okay, so Miss Gemma has gotten her skill and charisma up to five, which is fabulous. So we are going, even though she's in a really crappy mood, we are going to go ahead and see if we can book a celebrity meet and greet. But the very first thing I want to do is something else we had gotten, contact PR agency, is we had gotten a perk where we can actually get our reputation set up to um, good or bad or neutral or whatever. So I would like to request a good story because I would like her reputation to not be um, negative. I'd like it to be positive. You got it, Gemma. We just ran a phony positive story on you and Sims are gobbling it up. Your reputation to see an immediate boost. And it did and it's kind of tiny, but we'll see if we can do another one tomorrow. I don't want to push it just in case it, you know, backfires on us or whatever. Okay, so here we go. Fan meet and greet. Sims will receive simoleons and some fame and reputation. Gold levels get these as well as the Sims Choice Awards. Getting famous means attracting and interacting with fans. Hold a meet and greet, giving the perfect opportunity to schmooze with your soon-to-be loyal followers. So let's go ahead and do that. We are the celebrity. <laughs> and I don't know who we should invite as fans. What you gonna do? Let's just invite these random people. Not Marcus, we hate him. There we go, we got some random fans here for our meet and greet. I'd like to have it as at a at a place place so let's go to the salty paws saloon in brindleton bay that should be fun okay and here we are at the salty paws saloon with all of our fans rawr it's bear's night but we don't care about that we need to sign autographs socialize with our fans tell stories and have drinks that sounds like a fun time to me and i wonder exactly how we get people to want our autographs how do we do that? Doesn't tell us, which is fantastic. Oh, well, here we go. Here's someone's autograph we can sign. This guy slash possibly girl, girl in the turban over here. <laughs> Let's sign her autograph. Okay, I think she's gonna sign one. There we go. There she is signing one. Oh my god. There's like so many people here, but still. <laughs> I'd like to get somewhere like a little bit more secluded, but it's fine. Just start throwing out um, autographs at the crowd. <laughs> Just be super diva about it. Oh, he doesn't want it! Boy, what's your problem? I don't know. I think if I do another meet and greet, which I want to, I think I actually might get a venue or build a venue for specifically a meet and greet. Kind of like a Comic-Con vibe where she could sort of stay behind somewhere and talk to people because this is insane. There's just so many people trying to jump into the conversation. Can't even order this poor girl a drink. Okay, so we got a silver, which is not what I wanted, but it's okay. You've completed the fan meet and greet and earned a silver. Your sim has received some simoleons and has increased in fame and reputation. Okay, so we are all back home. It's five in the morning, and I want Gemma to jump in here really quickly. I want her to record a product review, beauty products, really quick for that corporate sponsorship. 
so we can get some extra simoleons and some extra fame before she has to run off to our audition at nine. This is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> we need better lighting though. What do you want to call this video? What was it for? Woohoo. Woohoo wears, we'll say lip gloss. A review of Woohoo wears sex. The new lip gloss line. I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, I'm very, you know, very uh, familiar with beauty vlogs. Okay, so view video inventory. We got this one here, and but it's fair. So edit it? No, they said they were going to edit it. So let's just go ahead and upload it really quick. Hopefully, we haven't gone over the 24 hour mark. Work for Paulo starts in about an hour, and Gemma's audition starts in an hour. Hurry up, girl, stop chit chatting. Chit chatted enough last night. Gemma, that footage was spot on. You nailed the exact trend that our client requested, and we didn't have to edit a thing. You know what that means, right? More money for you. Cha ching, cha chi. Sure, okay. And we get, oh, was that? We get daily royalties from oh, it. That's okay. awesome. Okay, and Miss Gemma is off to her audition, and she better pass because we work really hard on getting her charisma skill up, so. You go, girl. Ooh, royalty report. 101 simoleons for that beauty review. That's pretty good. Okay, and Gemma passed her audition. There's nothing better for a rising star than to play the dreamy doctor. Great work locking down this role, Gemma. You're going to need to be fully prepared here. Invite over that special someone and get to work playing doctor. Well, we have a special someone, but he's at work right now. So we need to research the flirty emotion, develop friendship with the director, and develop your charisma skill. Well, we can go ahead and invite over... Where is it? Right here. Invite over director and co-stars to so go ahead and get that going. And here they are. I'm not sure if this is the director, but let's go ahead and give her a cheerful introduction. As soon as Paulo comes home, we can get busy and freaky in that order. Oh, maybe someone else as well. So let's say hello to him. Cheerful introduction, please. Oh, and someone else. My goodness. So now that we got our relationship up with the director and we've developed our charisma skill, I thought it would be kind of fun. They can hang out. I don't really care. But I thought it would be kind of fun if we did some updates on this. Upgrades, rather. Can we do any? Needs level 7, needs level 5. We need an electronic upgrade part because we want to make these videos as good as possible because I assume the better quality they are, the more money you get for it. Oh, Paolo has been promoted to a team mascot. He received the following bonus, 132 simoleons and new clothes. Nice. Good for you, Paolo. We also got to get your charisma skill up, but before we do anything, as soon as Gemma is done upgrading her video station, you can go ahead and get flirty with Paolo so we can just have this whole gig in the bag. And since we're here talking to Dominic, let's go ahead and take that residency key back because we're not into you anymore. You made us work too hard and we're just not into that. Okay, and Gemma, come over here. Stop playing the guitar for five minutes or whatever it is you're doing over there. And let's go ahead and caress Paolo's cheek, compliment his appearance. All we gotta do is just make out a little bit on this couch and maybe go woohoo and yeah. We should be good. <laughs> okay, so the girls are up bright and early this morning, and Miss Maggie, I missed it, but Miss Maggie was right here in between them, looking at their food and saying, why can't I have some? And of course, Harper's having grilled cheese for breakfast again. Must be some new fad diet I've never heard of. And Gemma is looking stank face this morning, per usual, because she had to sleep for six hours or something without using her phone, and that's that just puts her in a bad mood. <laughs> Oh man, tomorrow is Harvest Fest. We're gonna have to do something for that. Everyone's gonna have to <laughs> take a break from working. Harper is already off to work. Paolo should be going shortly, I believe, in a couple of hours. I don't know what a celebrity should do for Harvest Fest. Should they maybe, I don't know, hire a caterer or something? Ooh, work for Gemma starts in an hour, same time as Paolo. Oh, the lovebirds even go to work at the same time. How cute. Okay, and here we are at the studio, and of course, Gemma just has to be in a terrible mood. She just can't be in a good mood for me. Let's go ahead and take a selfie of ourselves. Post to our Instagram story that we're on set, about to go get into costume to play a doctor. Let's take a look at the set really quick. Okay, look, this set is the same from preclinical pharmaceuticals, but this says a little bit more extended. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of scenes to do, which is nice. The more scenes, the better, I say. Okay, let's go ahead and, ooh, and get into hair and makeup really quick. See what kind of hairstyle Dr. Gemma is going to have on set. <laughs> That's cute. We've had that hair, same hairstyle from preclinical pharmaceuticals. So I hope it's right. It's really cute. 
Is it right? It is. You're doing so good. That's like two in a row. I'm super proud of you. Let's get into costume, which I imagine it's also going to be the same costume from preclinical pharmaceuticals. Preclinical pharmaceuticals. God, I hate saying that. It's so hard to say. And it is. So we're exactly the same, which is so weird. Let's um, get some notes from the director who did come over to our house yesterday. So we're like almost friends. So she's like going to give me all the best roles in all of her upcoming TV shows. And let's go ahead and tell her we are ready. Love those boots, by the way. Super cute. Okay, so we have a flirt scene, shouting scene, and a death scene. Oh my gosh. So let's come over here and do our shouting scene. I don't know who we're shouting at. Oh, it looks like it's like snowing or raining outside. Oh, we're shouting at him. Okay. Oh, go for it, girl. That is not a shouting face. That's smiling. She just cannot play angry roles. I'm serious. Sorry, guys, but that sucked. <laughs> he didn't look angry either. All right, let's come over here and, ooh, and do risky flirt with this uh, orderly or nurse, whoever he is. New boo. Oh, Ooh. Okay, and what's this over here? Ooh, a risky death scene. My goodness. But I don't see anybody who's dead. Or is she just like like a Darth Vader, like, no. No, he died, type of thing. <laughs> Whoa. What is happening? Oh, she dies. Oh. <gasps> The doctor dies? So what is it, just like a one, a one episode type of a thing? That sucks. So much for a reoccurring character. Come over here, and we're just doing these scenes totally out of order, so let's go ahead and kiss him. <laughs> or maybe they bring her back to life, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> She's so good at those kissing scenes. And last, we have a perform... Treat patient scene. Yes, I can speak. Risky treat patient. We always do the risk. No risk, no reward. Which I imagine is, again, just like from preclinical pharmaceuticals, where it's just going to sort of like be looking in his ear or whatever. <laughs> Face he's making. Alright, is that it? Did we do it? I love this. I think it's supposed to be snow. It looks more like snow than rain, but what do I know? That's a wrap. Gemma has finished all her scenes. The crew is shutting down. The footage is being sent to editing. Stay on the lot for a quick minute. See if there's anything else. Oh, Gemma Mar has been promoted to sitcom star. New auditions have become available. Okay, maybe we can do a sitcom. Maybe we can do something like on Friends. Oh, what you guys got? You got turkey? You got salmon? Man, this is way better than the other sets. And look at the centerpiece. I want the centerpiece. Oh my gosh, Harper has got a promotion. Select a branch for Harper Mar. We have stylist and trendsetter. Stylist, voila, a snip here, a trim there, a pairing of this with that, and boom, a new dash of fashionable zoosh. Snap, 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 that new title, it's so in right now. Then we have trendsetter. The task of a trendsetter is to create trends through the medium of fashion and clothing. By affecting the look of the world, true peace may be achieved in our time. <laughs> I don't know which one to pick. Posh profile or a dedicated dresser? I think we're going to pick stylist just because I like that one better. The trendsetter, what is this? That's even too... True peace may be achieved in our time. That's even too much for me. We're going to go with stylist. Harper has been promoted to dedicated dresser. She will now make an additional 30 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 100 simoleons per hour. She has also received the following bonus, 921 simoleons and the OTP... One true pairing, split mirror. <laughs> okay, so let's read all about Harper's new job. She needs, oh, she needs so much stuff she's got to work on. Oh my gosh. Stylist. A good day begins with the right clothes and a great night kicks off with serious duds. Pontificating seriously about each button and wily zipper is the dedicated pursuit of a dedicated dresser. You tell him, Harper. Prime time, no. That was Gemma time. You are a star, Bobby. Everyone says so. I'm not done reading that. Thank you. Keep this up. You are on track for a Starlight Accolade nomination. I don't know what that is, but thank you. But before you go ahead and go to bed, it's 7.30 at night, Gemma. Go ahead and check for more gigs. <laughs> okay, so here's what we have. We have Dignity and Decorum, which isn't exactly a sitcom, but... 
Still, actor or actress with an undeniable stiff upper lip needed for the final season. Dignity and Decorum, which is supposed to be like Downton Abbey, I bet, brings its final season split into five parts aired over the next three years. Follow the estate nab family drama at the turn of the century. Scandals and social pleasantries are daily routine as his family holds together and presents the most proper of public images. Yes, that is exactly like Downton Abbey. Then we have Last Town in the West, seeking cowboys and cowgirls who can sing, dance, and bale hay for Plum Bob Studios' production of The Last town in the West. Following the inspiring story of the townsfolk of Alcone Springs, it was their mesmerizing dance numbers and uplifting ballads that turned public opinion against the cartographer cartel who was looking to move the official hemisphere line from the west side of town to the east side. All this was a way of, to capitalize on some mistakenly printed first town in the east shirts the cartel had acquired. Okay. <laughs> and I think I want to go for Last Town in the West because this is a musical, I'm imagining, so I'd love to see that. Gemma's going to get to use her guitar and we all know how much she loves her guitar. <laughs> As I've said in every part, I really want to get Harper together with somebody, but it seems that Gemma just takes up all of my time and it makes me feel so bad for Harper, but I will really try to make some time for her. And in the next part, we are going to come into this house totally upgraded. You're absolutely going to love it. It's going to be gorgeous. Oh, there's that snooty celebrity always walking by our house. So I think I'm going to end this part here. If you did enjoy, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you for the next part of the Sims 4 Get Famous. Bye bye!